hello friends welcome to today's demo and just so you're wondering i do um, a little video demonstration and so then that way after the fact then we put it up on our website so then people can watch the demo later in case they missed it so today what we're doing is we are making rosettes and we are making a little tiny snowmen out of little rosettes and they're gonna be like little dangly things so you can like hang them up and then they'll kind of twirl in the wind and I actually had taylor snag me some uh twigs from our house so we can make little arms for a little snowman. I'm pretty excited about it. So in order to make rosettes, I'm gonna start with a piece of eight and a half by 11 paper. This is a new shimmer paper I got in. It is amazing, it has like a blue shimmer to it. Oh, so our snowmen are gonna be a little bit more on the ivory tone, but it's ivory slash metallic. So it's really beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out, um, I'm doing this on the 11 inch side of things here. And we're gonna do two strips of paper, two inches. And I'm going to do another one. Let's see what the size I have left is. Oh, we'll do another one at two and a quarter. So then that way we have, excuse me, two pieces at two and a quarter and two pieces at two inches. All right. And I'm going to do one more because I want it just to be a little bit bigger. And that's going to be at the three inch mark, I think. Okay. So when you're making rosettes, the most important thing is that you'll want to have a scoreboard, but you also will want to have a hot glue gun because if you try to use double sided tape, it will not hold. So just going to pre-warn you about that. So I had to plug in my hot glue gun really fast once I realized that I needed the hot glue. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this done. Okay, so this is the most tedious part of the whole thing. You're going to score every half of an inch. So it's a lot of scoring. So this is how you make a rosette. You have to do the scoring part. If you want to make mini rosettes, you would do every quarter inch, but it's extremely tedious. But it is very fun if you want to make mini ones. And then you're going to back and forth accordion fold it all the way down. Okay, so we are going to do that five more times. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five more times. All right. And the reason why we have to do two is because if you're trying to make a full circle rosette, it will not work if you only have a single half piece. Because when you go to wrap it into a circle, obviously you're only going to get a half circle there and you want it to be a full circle. Have you made rosettes before? Oh, you haven't. Oh, they're quite fun. They're really fun. Um, I actually really like to use them for doing gift wrapping um, because then you can kind of make it a little focal point and have like your little person's like name on like the little like on a little tag hanging with the rosette and it just adds like a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra fun, a little bit of extra dimension. All right, so every half inch. I thought about this today and I was like, I'm going to be using a scoreboard even though I don't have any for sale at the moment. But I will be getting them very soon. So, but I'm low. That's, it's always my goal that the, all the things I want to order will be here very soon. But then I try. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Actually, just yesterday I did a paper order and I was like, oh yeah, I need all the sun paper. And then I got that notification. It was like, oh yeah, half your order is back ordered. And I was like, no! But, you know, that's okay. Well, after there was an adhesive shortage, then there was a paper short shortage. Uh -huh, so I'm just like, okay, uh -huh. it, it is affecting my industry. <sighs> lovely, just lovely. Whoops. I did mess up a couple times and my scoring is not perfect. But you know what? It's actually going to be okay because when you accordion fold it, you can't really see that. So it'll be just fine. All right. We have two left. One, two, three, four. Two, four. Wait. Two, four, six. I don't think I needed this one those two that's a three inch two and a quarter and that's a two inch perfect almost done when um i was working at stamp doodle we used to make these and we used to make giant ones oh my gosh they were so much fun mm -hmm. but this part of the process is the most tedious mm -hmm. so but once you do this part then you you don't have to do it for each of your snowmen. So if you're only making a couple or making one, you don't have to do it very much. All right, let me accordion fold this here. Throw this on one of our little sections like this. And we're going to match it up like this. You want to make sure that your strips are the same width. <laughs> I'm not speaking from experience. <laughs> 
I am speaking from experience. Okay, so then you bring this around to the other side and then again, you're gonna wanna match those up on this side too. I don't know if you guys ever have this issue with starting a new glue gun stick and then it always falls out on you. Does this ever happen? I found that if you actually heat one side of this and then glue it to the previous one, that it actually will work really well and then it starts. A little tip for you on starting hot glue gun sticks. I really love working with hot glue, which is like such a faux pas in this industry because I'm like, I love it. I just like how fast it dries. It just makes me so happy. Why is it a faux pas? Why? Oh, because there's so many better glues for certain projects. But ho but hot glue, like I, I just I, I love it. It's just it's so fast. You can create drippy effects on like little magical vials. It's mm -hmm. just immediate satisfaction, and it bonds to a bunch of different kinds of stuff, yeah. which is wonderful. Huh. Okay, so then you take your rosette, and then you're gonna want to fold it in. Oh, but before you do so, you need to have a circle punch to punch out your little inside circle. So basically it takes 22 inches minus the overlap. Mm -hmm. so, we use an inch. so we grab another piece of this paper and you're going to need two mini circles for every rosette. So we're going to have six of those. And then you take your rosette bits and you press it to the middle. It works best if you're not working on a craft yet. There we go. You bring it to the middle like this. And then hot glue. This is the part where you're gonna have to hold it in place while it kind of dries. So you take your little circle and just match it up right in the middle, like so. And you want all of your little ends to kind of come together. So this is the part that's really hard for me ah, to just sit and wait. Still long enough to I know to hold still long enough. Oh, I'm not. You just move too quick. <laughs> I do move so quickly, so quickly. Margot is she's so sweet. Sometimes she'll come to my demos and she's like. Slow is better, Ellie, and I was like, <laughs> it is, it is. It's just not your natural pace. It's not my natural pace. I wake up and I'm going a million miles an hour and I'm like, I need coffee already. <laughs> Highly questionable. Oh, I waited. I was, I didn't wait. I was like, no, it's fine now. No, it wasn't. Oh my gosh. I always tell people you're supposed to wait about a full minute before you move it. I probably should. I'm going to do the other side. And then, yes, I will have you hold the other one once the other one put, hold it together. Thank you so much, Daisy. All right, so then you put this on the other side. So that will lock the whole thing in place. If you don't mind just okay. holding that down, you're going to want to kind of hold these in. Thank you. Oh, my gosh, you are awesome. And also much better at staying still than I am because I'm like, i got to get to the next one. All right, here we go. It was so funny. I was actually talking to Taylor. I was like, I'm really, really glad at least some places have had some snow already because how awkward would it be if it's like, oh, beautiful, nice day. Now we're going to do a snow craft. And he was like, it's actually supposed to be a really nice day tomorrow. I was like, no, shoot. He's like, well, it's okay. It'll be fine. It's, it's still okay. going to be we're fine. Yes. Yes. But also then you can be prepared for when it snows a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fine. Okay. I'm afraid it's going to be snowing in December. Oh, it's going to be snowing a lot. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm worried about it. It's, it's not my favorite time of year. Right. So you'll so I did one at the two inch wide, perfect. And then this one was at the two and a quarter inch wide, and this is at the three inches wide because I'm making three different sizes. Oh, this was the two and a quarter. This is two inches. But I'm making three different sizes, so we have the head of a snowman, the body of a snowman, and then the bottom body part of a snowman. Three parts. If you wanted to make a smaller snowman, you could do just two, and that would be totally fine too. Oh, thank you so much for being here. Oh. Yes, thank you so much, Daisy. Oh, you are awesome. Oh my gosh, look at you, just being prepared. I was getting, I was getting ready to hold it in place again, but we all know I can't stay in place for one whole minute. I just can't. You gotta borrow hands here. That's that's great. Thank you. You guys are wonderful. All right. What's nice about this metallic paper and all of the other star dreams that I have is that there isn't a one side or another side. Like, oh, we can't have that to the back side. So it doesn't really matter which way you accordion fold it. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's flip that over. Nice. That was exactly what it needed. Perfect. You just needed someone to stay still. Okay. All right. And this will be the last one here. My big one. Oh, can you hold that flat for me? Oh, thank you so much, Linda. 
Oh, you guys are just fantastic. All right. Okay, we're gonna hold that in place. Okay, all right. While well, you guys are holding for just a second, I'm gonna work on this one. So this is the middle body bit. So there's gonna be one on top and one on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put, this is a tiny, tiny, tiny hole punch. It's a 16th of an inch. And I'm gonna poke a hole just at the top. I mean, this is very, very small because we're gonna be running through this very, very tiny iridescent twine. Okay. And then I want one directly on the other side as well. All right, okay, Daisy, that's probably good. Perfect, and then let's flip this one over. All right, I'll do one more. All right, I don't know who wants to hold it. Who wants to fight over it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, perfect. All right, and then this one is gonna be the head. Eh, it's probably a little big for a sawman head, but you know what, it's all right, it's okay. It's still a little bit smaller, so it'll be fine. And I'm gonna do just one hole punch at the bottom of that here. So then we'll have, that's the top, this is the middle, and that will be the bottom. So then we just take our little iridescent twine and we just string them together. Hmm. That is a tiny little hole. Oh, it is very tiny. I'm actually going to do this trick where I put glue on the end to make it so that the end of the twine is nice and stiff. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just string this through like so. Okay, so I think that looks great. Perfect. space actually that should be about right and we'll do the same thing here on the other side All right. oh hello margo if you would like and grab you another seat taylor would you mind grabbing margo a chair thank you jay is not here today jay is not here today no jay, jay is i can stand i'm tall oh, it's okay it's not a problem. oh hey in my purse to me oh yeah, there we go. go oh taylor never mind got it sorry okay after all of that yeah we decided we're going to share some chairs all right you can have a seat there, Margo. Not a problem. We're making a little uh, rosette snowman today. All right. You've made the rosettes before, right? Yes, I figured as much. Yeah, it's been a long time, though. They are fun. All right. So then we're going to do one hole punch in the bottom part of our snowman. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Fall off somewhere. That is a okay. I will tell you, you missed the chaos of me messing up, so. That's good. And I actually did, I actually quoted you because you have commented that sometimes it's better for me if I'm going slow because I was I was rushing a little bit and that's how I messed up. So thank you. You were here even if you didn't know it. I was remembering what you said to me last time. Because sometimes when I'm rushing, that's when I mess up. But if I'm going slow, then I, then I know that I've got it right. Okay. All right, now I'm going to string these two guys together. Whoa, no. All right, can we undone? Okay, my little twine just moved a bit too short. There we go. All right, so then I'm going to tie this into a knot down here. Okay, so then you'll have your, that's your little snowman. So if you want just the little snowman and you don't want to hang it up, that's where you would stop with the hole punch. But because I want to hang them up, I'm going to do one more hole punch at the top here. And we're putting a little bit of glue on the end of the twine just to make it a little bit easier to string through the tiny little hole. And then with this one, I'm going to tie a little knot at the end at the base of the twine. And I'm going to hang this guy up. So at this point, you would cut this twine to be whatever the height is that you would like to hang them up with. So I'm probably going to go about this tall. Make a little loop. Oops. Okay. All right. And we'll trim these little guys. Let me just make sure those are nice and tight. Those are all small. Okay. So this is going to be our base of our snowman. So that's how you do the base of your little rosette. So if you want the, your snowman to be smaller, you would just want to make the width of your little rosette strips to be just a little bit more narrow. Mm -hmm. So now we get to decorate the snowman. That's the best part. Okay. So, I, um, Margo, you missed it earlier, but when Taylor got here this morning, I had him collect several twigs from, our, from where we live out there because I needed little snowman arms. So we're gonna take our little- Do you not have millions? I, I'm sure, and I actually, it was so funny because I got here and I thought, there are no trees, like really, 
very close by. So I asked Taylor, and of course, it probably took him two seconds to go find those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you're like, well, all I have to do is just look outside. And it's been, because it's been so windy out there as well, it has made it very easy to find twigs because everything is falling. Blowing the driveway. Yes. Are off every day. Yeah, it's, it's been really, really windy. Our power went out. I don't know about you guys. But we oh, had, ours has late. We had a day of that. Uh, yeah. Six hours? <gasps> six hours, yeah. yeah. We, we uh, always sleep with fans on, so that night it was very quiet in the house. And oh, I was sure. like, I can hear everything. And normally I don't, can't really hear the trains rolling by, but mm -hmm. I did that night. Okay. Oh, there's one other part. Yeah. My button collection. Actually, this is just a very small. Um, oh, Okay. Collection of my buttons, but I gotta have the buttons for the eyes, little snowman eyes. I thought that would be yeah. perfect for his little eyes or his little buttons on his little jacket. So I'm gonna find some that are kind of the right shape there. Roughly, how cute! Have another snowman eye, and then of course we have to give him a carrot nose. Now. I have, um, when Becca and I used to make the little snowman that hung up at stamp doodle we would always make little snowmen, like we even made like a little snow baby once and we did a little snow dog. It was so cute <laughs> with like a little leash and like the little dog was just two little rosettes and then we used the little sticks for the little feet. It was so, so, so cute. <laughs> In this case, yes, you will definitely need hot glue. I, I would not use E6000 or anything like that, and no, I certainly wouldn't use double-sided double tape or new glue. <laughs> no, it just it just will not hold. It absolutely will not hold. Oops, that's not very centered, but that's okay. It's a snowman. He did his best. All right, and then I always like to give them like a little cap or like a little a little hat or like a little scarf. Yeah, a little hat. Yeah, a little little hat and let's see here I'll pair nicely with him oops oh that's not long enough the bottom part of his little hat Then, because I just have to add something else just to make it at least a little bit more fun, I'm going to just cut out these little dots as little polka dots for his little hat. Dot, so let's put that on the side. And trim the little, little edges so that his hat shape makes sense there. Oh, cut off the wrong part of that, but that's okay. His hat will still, it'll still be obvious what he's wearing. All right, his little hat, so cute. And then I want him to have a fun little scarf. So you can, we can have some ribbon over here to do that with, or if you want there to be a cute little fringe on his little scarf, you can cut a little fringe here like so. as well. All right, and then we take his little scarf and wrap it around. Oh, I have to make it chaotic. I have to. 
We'll have twine sticking to things. It wouldn't be a true demo if it wasn't at least a little bit better. All right, and you have this cute little scarf. Now with your little snowman, of course, you could have him do a variety of different things, but in this case, I would like, to, oh, I would like him to have at least a little bit of a smile. So I'm gonna find some little black buttons in here, I think. Oh, look at the star, how fun. <laughs> I'm sure someone will do something fun with him later this week. It's been so fun having different people come out to make the craft. I've had so many different people, which has been really fun, and kids and adults. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if that'll do it. I know his smile is a little lopsided, but it's okay. It communicates what it needs to. All right, and there we have our cute little snowman. Oh my gosh, I just love him. So that's what we're making this week for the $5 craft. So if anyone wants to come by and make it, it's just $5 and it'll be up, the station will be up until next Wednesday. Have a great day, friends.